video here that you are seeing has been successful here on social media, but it is a bit inaccurate. So I'm going to take this opportunity to try to explain to you what is really inside each planet. Let's start here with Earth, which is the planet that is in order here in the video, right? Well, the Earth's core is iron and nickel, solid, plus an outer liquid, and it has a size of approximately 3,500 kilometers in radius, almost half the size of the Earth. So the next one that appears here is Venus, right? There still isn't, you know, much study on its core, but we estimate, we scientists estimate that it has a radius of around 3,000 kilometers, half of the planet as well. So the video here is not very accurate. Then the next one that appears is Mars, right? Which has a core of iron and sulfur and is partially liquid. Its radius is about 300 kilometers, a little more than half of the planet, right? Yeah, the video here is also not very precise. Then the next one that appears here is Saturn, which has a rocky metallic core surrounded by metallic hydrogen. The size of Saturn's core is between 9,000 and 18,000 kilometers in radius, up to three times the size of Earth. And in the video, it's not what it seems either, right? So the next one that appears here is Jupiter, right? It is very dense, you know, its core is made of rock and ice. Surrounded by metallic hydrogen, and the video should show this, right? That around it, there are a lot of gases. The estimated size, the radius of Jupiter's core is one and a half times the radius of Earth, about 10,000 square kilometers. A little bit smaller there than the size of the Earth. And here the core is enormous. Wrong, too. Here we have Uranus, a rocky core of ice surrounded by materials like water and ammonia. And the size of the core, you know, of Uranus is about 0.5 times the radius of the Earth, three zero kilometers in radius. And that is not what it seems here either. Then there is the Sun. Its plasma core, which is in nuclear fusion, is about 150,000 kilometers in radius. Then the next one here is the Moon, right? Which in the video seems to be hollow, but it's not hollow. It has a core of iron plus sulfur that is partially liquid and a size of about 3 so 30 kilometers in radius. Only about 20% of the lunar radius. And finally, I think this here is Neptune. The appearance of the planets is also very inaccurate in this video because it was generated by artificial intelligence. So precision is way off the mark here. It has a rocky ice core similar to that of Uranus, right? The estimated size of its core is 1.5 times the Earth's radius or 10,000 kilometers in radius. So this video is very cool and very interesting, but it is made by artificial intelligence, so it does not have the accuracy that we expect from something educational. So it's worth it for the understanding, right? But the video is really cool.